Hey guys, welcome back to my 2015 Halloween series here on my channel. Today I have this makeup look for you, which is kind of like a really kind of spooky spider queen type makeup look. So if you want to find out how to do this, let's go ahead and get started right from scratch. So for my foundation today, I'm going to be using the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous in the shade 115. And just with my finger, I'm just going to be dotting that all over my face just so we get a nice, full, even coverage that we want. I do still really, really like this foundation from when I did a first impressions on it. It is one of my favorites. It's just awesome. So I wanted to use that today, and I'm just using a Sephora uh, foundation brush just to blend that all into my face to make sure that we don't have any patchiness or streakiness going on. And then for face powder today, I'm using this one by Le Beau Cosmetique. I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it. It was just recently sent to me, and it is their High Definition Silky Powder, and this is in the color Pearl. I absolutely love this powder. It's absolutely amazing and gives a really nice just look to the skin. Then for my brows, I'm just going with my dark brunette BH Cosmetics Eyebrow Pencil, and I'm just doing my eyebrows how I normally would. And then for bronzer, I'm using this one by Too Faced. This is their Chocolate Soleil bronzer, and it smells so good. I absolutely love this stuff. And just on a big, bleh, can't talk today, big fluffy brush with nothing else on it, I'm just taking a little bit of that bronzer and just bronzing my face. And then I also contoured just slightly with this as well. For blush, I used this one by Laura Mercier, and this is in the color Rose Bloom, which is a really pretty pink pigmented blush and I just kind of put that on the apples of my cheeks making it super kind of rosy and heavy I guess. To get started on the eyes, I'm using Too Faced Shadow Insurance Eyeshadow Primer on both of my eyelids, bringing it up pretty far and making sure that it covers my entire lid because obviously we are going to be using eyeshadow for this look and we want to make sure that our eyeshadow is going to stay the entire time at the Halloween party or whatever event you may wear this to. Also I'm just taking some scotch tape and just applying that to the outer edges of my eyes. The first eyeshadow I'm using is a brown color for my 26 color palette from BH Cosmetics and I'm just taking that kind of neutral brown and just running that through my crease just to kind of darken it up and define it a little bit. And then on my eyelid, I am taking this white kind of eyeshadow pencil. It's by LA Colors. It's really, really cheap and affordable and super, super effective. It's in the color seashells and I'm just kind of running that through all over my eyelid and then I'm going to be blending that in because this is going to make our eyeshadow kind of stand out and pop way more. started on the inner corner of my eye and for that I am taking this L'Oreal Infallible Eyeshadow and this is in the color 757 Silver Sky and on just a clean elf blending brush I'm just going to be putting all of that in the corner of my eye so our eyes kind of pop out and stand out when we have the rest of our shadow on. For the lid color, I'm using this e.l.f. single eyeshadow in the color Sea Blue. It's a really, really gorgeous, really pretty blue color. I don't own anything like it, and I really wanted to use it for this look today. So on just a flat top eyeshadow brush, I'm just taking that and packing that really heavy on the eyelid. course it wouldn't be a Halloween eye makeup look without some black eyeshadow so I'm taking the Melt Dark Matter Stack which I absolutely love and I'm taking the black from this set which is called Dark Matter. 
Ecta. And on a fluffy Sephora brush, I'm going to be taking that to the outer corner of my eye, of course, like I usually always do. And I'm just going to be sweeping that up into the crease a little bit just to kind of darken up the whole look. Um, you don't have to use black eyeshadow if you don't want to, but it is my personal favorite shade of eyeshadow to wear, so I thought it would be perfect for this look. And then of course don't forget to go back and blend everything out so you have clean edges. Then of course we are going to be doing some winged eyeliner and for that I am using this black one by Madame Glam. It has a really fine tip point so it makes it perfect to get into the inner corner and it makes it perfect to get that outer wing as well. So I'm just doing that, making a pretty heavy wing and since you have the tape there it'll help kind of guide you so you don't have to make any mistakes because when you remove the tape you are going to have a perfectly straight line. Then after everything, remove the tape and boom, you have the completed upper eyeshadow look. But before I finish, I went in with my favorite Urban Decay Electric Palette and the really, really kind of bright blue shade in this palette, I think it's called Gonzo. Don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure. I went back in over that blue on the eyelid just to make it pop a little bit more. The sea blue is more of a navy tone and I wanted more of like a bright baby blue. So I went on with that. Then on my lower eyelid, I went in with the other LA Colors Jumbo Eye Pencil in the color Sunglasses and I just kind of packed this on the lower eyelid again like I normally do and then with the same gonzo blue eyeshadow from the Urban Decay Electric palette I went in and sweeped this underneath the black just to kind of tie in the blue from the upper eyelid as well now we're going to get started on the spider web. So to do that, I'm taking Elf's Black Liquid Eyeliner and started mapping out where I wanted the spider webs to go. Spider webs are pretty easy to do. Again, I'm not a makeup artist, like I'm not very artistic in any way, shape, or form, but spider webs are the one thing that are pretty easy and basically everyone can do them. So basically just start by going through and mapping out lines where you want the spider webs. I decided to do one underneath my eye. So just make as many lines as you want depending on how big you want the spider web. And don't worry too much about having clean or messy lines because after we get done kind of shading everything, it really won't matter too much unless you are super picky. I'm really not, so uneven lines don't bother me, but you know, do whatever, you know, feels good to you. Then with just a sharpened black eyeliner, this is just one by Wet n Wild, I went through and started making the web, like finishing it up. So basically just do kind of like half circles all throughout the web, creating the spider web. And as you make the lines, you will see it come together a lot more. So just kind of do this until it's all completed. Also decided to add one above my eye you can add as many spider webs as you want you can add one you can add five it really doesn't matter just kind of go with whatever you feel like I only felt like doing two for this look today but if I were to go back I would probably put another one on because I think they looked super super cool And again, going back in with that same black eyeliner pencil and finished up the web. Now I'm just taking a very small eyeshadow brush and with the same black eyeshadow from the Dark Matter stack, I am taking that and shading the corners of the web. Basically kind of hard to explain, but you can see what I'm doing here. This just kind of makes the web look more three-dimensional and more realistic. I'm not doing this in any specific way. I'm just going through and shading as many as I want. doesn't have to be perfect, just kind of do whatever you feel like doing and I'm sure it'll turn out just fine. went through with just a white eyeliner pencil by Wet n Wild and I added just a few little highlights just to make the web look more, you know, make it kind of pop out at you more. I don't really know if that did anything, but I just figured I would go ahead and try it. Mm -hmm. 
and here's basically how the webs turned out for me super super happy with them and now I'm gonna get started on the lips so for the lips today I kind of wanted to stick with the blue navy theme so I'm taking just a navy blue eyeliner by LA colors lining the heck out of my lips also kind of overdrawing them a little bit as well because it's Halloween and you're allowed to do things like that. And on the lips, I'm using Jeffree Star Cosmetics Liquid Lipstick in the color Abused. This is a beautiful, perfect navy shade and I love it so much and I thought it would go perfect with this look so I just applied that to my top and bottom lip. Of course, you are going to need Q-tips after this to do some major, major cleanup, but after you do that, it looks fabulous. Now for the very important part of this makeup look, we are going to add our little friends. So I got a favor pack of 50 little mini spiders from the Halloween store and I'm using this product right here which is spirit gum to apply them to my face. Now the one thing with spirit gum is once you apply it to your face, you have to tap it until it gets tacky. I know when I first used spirit gum I didn't know that and I was so confused as to why it wasn't working so make sure you tap your spirit gum before you apply your objects so that's basically what I'm doing here is I'm just kind of putting random assortments of spiders all over my face it looks super gross and creepy I hate spiders but this look turned out so good I absolutely love the little spiders you can add as many as you want you can add as little as you want really doesn't matter just kind of go with whatever you want to do and you'll be looking cool. And the very final touch that I did is I added some contacts. These contacts are from Blue Banana. I will have a link down below, but oh my gosh, aren't they gorgeous? They're like this beautiful, gorgeous violet shade and they turned out really, really good. Okay guys, so here is the completed finished look of this Spider Queen makeup. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give a huge, huge thumbs up and don't forget to go onto my channel and check out my other Halloween makeups. I have an entire playlist full of them. Again, really hope you guys enjoyed this makeup. Let me know what you think of it down in the comments and let me know what you're going this year as Halloween. I would love to know. But until then, I will see you guys very soon in my next Halloween video. Bye guys!